It's Don here from the board. Thanks for coming along and checking out another one of our videos. Today, I'm going to be doing a review and a quick look, a first look at the Jelly Key Fusion series. Now, this is actually the first review video for a Jelly Key product for me, as well as the fact that this is also the first video which I hope is going to be one of many in the series where I look at the products that have been donated by various sponsors of the Sydney 2017 Star One meetup. So Jellykey was really kind enough to actually provide me with this keycap which is going to be part of our raffles. So let's get right into it. Now this was obviously sent from Vietnam. Uh, it came in just a, a very simple cardboard box. There was no really any other protective packaging with it. It was neatly packaged. It was tight-ish in the sense that the box didn't really rattle, but you could hear something moving around, and you can kind of see that they, they did box it in a custom cut size box to make it fit. And of course, the jelly key itself is naturally protected in the nifty wooden case. Now, the wooden case has uh, shrink wrap on it, so it's completely sealed. It's got the jelly key join ha, the join hands logo, which unfortunately is currently obscured by the sticker which says FS, which I'm believing is the Fusion series. So this is a pristine product, hasn't been opened yet. Uh, I do realize that, you know, I could give it away at the raffle sealed, but I would like to review it and of course provide this as a shout out and thank you very much to Jelly Key for sponsoring as well. So let's uh, very carefully get this uh, plastic wrap off. And of course I'll tape it up to ensure that the key isn't going to uh, go flying around and get damaged as well before the meetup. So first impressions, first impressions, here we go. So uh, the case itself is quite nice. Uh, it's a little bit rough on the grain because obviously it's not super finished. Uh, it doesn't have any kind of oils or wax on it to stain the actual timber. Naturally, you know, that would add a little bit more value and prestige to the case if it did but I think it's it's not bad. The case itself, it's not a perfect flush fit. You can kind of see that there's a bit of a lip there, so when you do run your fingers across it, it uh, it does catch and you can feel that bump. Now that I've taken the plastic off it, the, the lid doesn't really go anywhere. I'm sort of jiggling it around. And okay, so there's no screw thread at all. It's just simply a turned case. And well, hey, there we go. So, the first thing that I noticed besides the keycap, obviously, is that it's got a little bit of a message in here. There's a serial number involved as well, and it says, We would like to extend our deep gratitude for being our friend. Nice little uh, custom message, and it seems to be some kind of tape or whatnot, because there's a bit of a raised bit that you can feel underneath. Um, yeah, it's nice. Very simple turn case, um, and, and here it is. Well... Let me, oh, okay, so it has shifted a little bit because you can see in the foam, it's got a cutout for where the key should be nestled in, but uh, that's okay. It's kind of survived a bit of a trip because it's obviously come from Vietnam to Australia. Let's just take that out and you can see see the cut. And it is a uh, MX style cap, which you're not seeing very clearly at the moment from the distance. So I'm just going to nestle that gently back. Okay, so... The hole itself is actually much smaller than the cap. Um, I think it would actually fit, it fits neatly this way as opposed to the, the presentation side up. So maybe if uh, Jelly Key, you do have a look at this video and you see you might want to just get the, the foam hole cut a little bit larger because obviously if I'm trying to embed this in, oh no, okay, so it does, it does kind of fit but uh, it, it's not it's not a super great fit without sort of pushing it in a bit. Okay, that's all right. Doesn't fall out with a gentle upside down. So I'm just going to put that aside, and I've got my trusty quad hands bench with my impromptu platform over here, and then uh, I can get some close up happening so we can see a little bit more detail on on what's going on here. So let's see if we can get the focus to come in maybe let's see if I can get some some text or something like that happening and then we can are you gonna you're gonna focus on that 
for me. Just a uh, standard trumpy. Maybe it's... Whoa. Nearly lost that there. <laughs> um, there we go. Okay, so it's focused on the text on the actual uh, platform there. So, let's have a look at this Fusion. Now, it's a bit of a, a milky colored key. Uh, it's transparent. It's kind of like a... If you've ever seen nylon being made in a glass beaker, it has that kind of appearance. It's stringy, um, fog kind of look. The actual cap surface is very smooth. It's very glossy. It's very smooth. Uh, and yeah, there's not really that much of a orderness to it. And I guess it's not really meant to. Now, if we turn the cap sideways and have a look, I'm not quite sure what the timber is that's been used. Um, the grain directions looking on the underside, which we'll have a look at soon, will kind of show you why I'm a little bit confused. But you can certainly see that the resin or whatever it is that they've used has kind of seeped into the timber as part of their encapsulation process. Profile wise, uh, I'm not quite sure what that profile is, but I have a OEM row profile and you can kind of see it's similar but not quite uh, at least the front leading edge of that keycap is not exactly the same but height wise it's it's probably pretty close I suspect that it would be based off a very similar kind of keycap profile but obviously with the encapsulation and and polishing and stuff like that they might lose a bit of the shape and of course we'll just rotate that around and we can have a look at the sort of the wood edging that uh, you're going to get from sort of that broken wood look that has been popular lately uh, and the milkiness of that keycap against the black background so you get a bit more of a contrast. Um, overall it's it's not too bad it's a mysterious look it's a, a hazy kind of look but you're not going to get any light passing through it from underneath so if you've got LEDs you, you're not really going to get that backlit effect because of that solid wood base. So what we're going to do now is have a look at the bottom and there you go so like I said it's solid all the way through the wood grain is kind of a little bit confusing here and it makes me think that it's probably multi piece that have been sort of glued together perhaps because obviously the grain orientation is running in one direction that way across the top but then the bottom it's running you know from bottom left right whereas the top is going from left right down in sort of the the opposite direction which is I don't know, it, it seems a little bit weird. And it appears that what they've done is they've actually milled out the bottom and they've done an insert inside the keycap. And what this actually kind of reminds me of is uh, with what Rama has been working on, which is his TMX system, uh, which from what I've gathered is basically a molding system where inserts, the TMX insert is actually pre-made and then you basically embed that into your artisan keycap. So it kind of has that particular feel about it. Uh, the actual channel is, it's not coming up very clearly here. I don't know if it's going to show it very well, but I'm going to try and get a closer zoom, but it might be beyond the zoom. Uh, well, not so much the zoom, but the focal distance of the actual camera. But what I'm not able to show you very cleanly right now, we'll just see if that'll maybe come back into focus, um, is that the encapsulation of this actual insert that says jelly key on it, oh, well, that kind of shows a little bit better. Uh, let's see if I can get that to refocus on the platform. Bit of focal depth, maybe. Does it want to do it? Doesn't want to. Oh, there we go. All right. Just had to give it a bit of time. Now, if I hold it up and you can see the reflection, they've got a shiny bit and then you've got a matte bit. And it literally looks like they've just put in resin and then dropped that insert in and pushed it out. It sort of overflowed up and in on top of that actual insert. Uh, the other thing is the edges of the insert, one side is matte colored and the other side is shiny. So you can see that the right hand top right is shiny but then the rest of it is dull matte finish, which obviously is evidence of them doing bottom surface sanding, polishing kind of like that or, you know, on a polishing device, that kind of thing. 
Now, I'm normally, as you may have seen on some of my previous videos, uh, I would actually do a cap fitment test. Um, and, you know, I would click it on a switch and that kind of thing and see if it flicks off or if it falls, if I shake it upside down just to test how well and tight the actual cap fits. I'm actually not going to do that during this video. And to sort of explain myself in that aspect, due to that Jelly Key recently have been having some of their keycaps actually snap and break from fitment, I don't want to risk it. Now, I know that that hasn't happened on any of this particular series of keys. It's still a concern for me because obviously this being a raffle prize for the meetup, I don't want to run into the event that it does accidentally break if I try and fit it on a on a switch um, because then obviously it would damage and ruin this particularly beautiful key. So you will have to, of course, bear with that that you're not going to see a fitment test. Overall, it's lovely. It's, it's really nice. It's very simple. Um, I'm just having a look at it from a side on and it's... Okay, it's... Uh... Let's see, which way is that? Okay, so that should be the front. Um, the, the profiling is actually really interesting. Now, it's probably not very noticeable on the camera, but if you look at it from one side and then you flip it, the actual top polish is not in a profile evenness. It actually slopes into one corner. So whoever's actually done the polishing or, or how it's done the polishing, it's not dead on. Like if you look at it from this corner in person anyway, it's probably not really showing up very well on the, uh, on the camera. But by eye, um, it does actually slope towards one corner. So look, these are handmade artisan products. I'm not gonna knock the fact that it does that, but it's just interesting that it's noticeable. Uh, and it's handmade. So of course you're gonna have potential kinds of uh, these, these issues. That said, it's very nice, it's very clean, uh, has that sort of quartz look about it, so pretty cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you very much to Jelly Key for supporting the Sydney Meetup. Um, I hope you, that you enjoyed seeing the review of this keycap. Um, and yeah, if you haven't registered for the Sydney Meetup and you are in Sydney, please, please do. It doesn't cost you anything, you don't have to buy any tickets in advance. And if you do actually pre-register, you do get a free ticket for the raffle as well. Of course, if you don't turn up, then it doesn't matter because you're not going to get that raffle ticket and it still doesn't cost you anything. So I will have the link in the description below this video for pre-registration as well as, of course, the details in the form. And hopefully there'll be more videos to come. So thank you very much. If you like this review, please hit like. Uh, if you want to get more people into mechanical keyboards, of course, you can hit share because this is a, a lovely way of showing off some keyboard art and artisan keycaps to get somebody interested. And of course, if you're seeing this on Reddit, for example, and you haven't subscribed, I would love to get your subscription as well. So, as usual, per my catchphrase, until next time, happy clacking. Oh.